Hey guys, this is Al. Now today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, smart business ideas, how to grow your business. Now when I am working with my clients, um, a lot of times we focus on some of the main problems with businesses and getting their businesses more clients um, and and showing them how to grow their business using um, online tools as well as offline tools. Now today I'm going to be talking about one of the main problems that I see with businesses and the hopes to help uh, you guys who follow my channels um, to um, grow your business and also be more profitable. Now one of the main problems with doing business, especially if you're an online entrepreneur, is that you do a fabulous website. Let's say you get your website done and it's awesome and things are looking great uh, and you're saying to yourself well all I want to do is get on the Google front page or uh, I want to get you know exposure now what happens is with SEO especially if you're in a high competition um, niche or high competition area you're fighting against people who um, have maybe a staff that does social uh, media marketing, they do SEO, uh, they have dedicated people, and you as a small business owner um, may not have all that. So you may put some money into SEO, put some money into different services, and you're saying to yourself, well, I just don't have the type of money to, to spend over and over again for SEO services. Now, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about the shortcuts of how to grow your business. Now, let's say you've got the fabulous business and you put it up and the website's looking great, but you're not getting any customers. Something is wrong. And this is a common mistake that a lot of business owners make. And this is what the common mistake is. You have to imagine the Internet as like a vast area. And what happens here is you putting out your website is like putting a business in the middle of the desert. Okay? So this is your company. And it's your store. And you're saying, I want people to come out to this location. Whatever you're selling, you're saying that this is my business and I want people to come out. Now, you may be running the most fabulous business in the world. You may have the best products, offer the best services. It doesn't really matter because when you put it out there, it's just like you put it out in the middle of the desert. Now, in order to get traffic, there's two ways that you do it. You either go and compel people to come to your store, basically uh, passing out a lot of business cards, talking to people that you know, sending out a lot of emails, and then you're kind of like forcing them to come to your store location in the middle of the desert. And that is a tactic that actually works. However, what happens here is that there's another problem. Um, usually, people don't like to shop in the middle of the desert. They like to feel like um, other people are also going there as well. So they want what we call social proof. They want a place where other people are going. They can see that other people are going. They can see that there's some exposure. They can see that there are things happening. Uh, they have, they see information about recent sales, hot products, and so on and so forth, customer testimonials. All of that helps people to feel like, hey, this isn't just a store in the middle of the desert. This is a place that people like coming. Now, what happens is it goes back to location, location, location. Now, even if you were in a situation where you saw somebody and they were um, a panhandler, somebody who were asking for money, they're smart enough to know that the best place to panhandle is not in the middle of the desert. The best place to panhandle is where a lot of people are going by. So it's about a volume. It's about the volume of 
people that come by that allow you to make money or allow you to get um, money from those passers by. And the same thing holds true with business. If you have a business that's in the middle of the desert, you're going to have very few passers by. And that's why business owners always talk about traffic, traffic, traffic. We got to have traffic. We got to have traffic. And there is a shortcut to traffic. Um, it's actually called a piggyback method. And I'm going to show you what that means. What you want to do is you want to focus on sites that already have traffic. Sites like eBay, Amazon, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest. Um, you want to focus on those sites that have a lot of traffic. And because they have a lot of traffic and you post your products on that site, then you can get uh, a lot of traffic from that. Now, also... A lot of people don't know that you can actually sell services, and the way that you sell services is that a lot of times you can have uh, bundled services uh, um, such as uh, coupons, or you can have um, uh, things like special offers. You can even use uh, sites like Groupons to uh, get people to buy in bulk. And the key here is that you have to remember that these sites already have built-in traffic. They've spent years building up the traffic. So um, you want to focus on sites that already have traffic. It's basically the equivalent of moving your business from here, out in the middle of the desert, to moving it to the mall. And if you're moving it to the mall, the mall, the reason why the mall charges as much is because they know they have built in traffic. They've got um, built in customer bases. They've got parking. They've got amenities uh, so that people can come and they can um, buy and purchase things because of the fact that there is a large number of stores or uh, different places and people feel comfortable because they have that social proof because the social proof is that everyone's there everyone's going there um, and they feel more confident about spending their money online versus spending their money on a site that they've never heard of now that's an example of what we call the piggyback method now if you'd like some help getting your business started having a website um, organizing your marketing campaign, figuring out what you're going to do, what's the best method, how to get your customers, um, and getting the best value for your customers, and also making sure that you have uh, the lowest cost of customer acquisition. If you're interested in knowing how you can do that, then please contact us at the link below. Our information is always located below our videos. All right, guys, thank you so much and have a great day.